boy, you can just hear the excitement. What a moment indeed. And welcome, everyone, to another presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports, along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Patterson in a shooting guard. Anthony Davis is out there with Tyreek Evans. Then there's Brian Roberts. And Steensma in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Patterson makes the bucket. An important momentous occasion for this young guy getting his first points in an NBA uniform. And he has really refined that stroke of his. And now he's got one of the prettiest jump shots in the league. You know, it's neat to see guys improve, but it's also good to see guys add to their strengths. I mean, you're already good at something, but you get better at it through hard work. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, guys, an aggressive move by the Pelicans front office on draft day, trading away the rights to Nerlens Noel and their 2014 pick in order to acquire the Sixers' young all-star point guard, Drew Holiday. Clearly, a mandate from ownership to accelerate the rebuild process and win now. And they gave up a lot, but in Holiday, they have a proven player, and he's still just 23 years of age. He can grow with the team. Kevin? They certainly seem to be headed in the right direction, Chris, with a good core attack. We'll take a look at Patterson. One way to go camaraderie within a team with some healthy competition, Clark, and something near and dear to our heart, is he held an NBA 2K13 tournament for his squad. And make no mistake about it. I mean, they're all competitive, and there's some serious bragging rights on the line when these guys hook up to play video games. And if they're going to play a video game, they might as well play this one. Uh, and I hear they like what you have to say about it. Or if they, were, uh, they gave you a lot of slaps in the back, they like that. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're, you're popular on that team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move on. Move on. Kevin, I don't think they were real happy with you, though. I don't think they singled out uh, some of the lines that you were uh, using about some of the players. <laughs> Another one falls from the other Another turnover leading to a bucket. Yeah, they made the most of all these chances they've gotten from turnovers. I mean, it's really fueling their offense right now. They bucket in in no time at all. Patterson's got 19 points. He's really stepped it up this quarter. Looks like he's determined to get them out of this hole all by himself. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Here's the three. And another three for New Orleans. Well, you knew the one would come, and here it is. They're playing well now, trying to get back in this thing. Yeah, pretty good comeback effort here. Um, rolling along nicely, and they've gotten themselves within striking distance now. Tries a three off the inbound. That's in, coming off an assist from Miller. And that's now 25 points for the chosen one. Granger pushes to Hill. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. How about that for a response? They will say they can give the three as well as they can take the three. And a tight game here as we end the first half. Indiana out in front, up by four. And now, brought to you by Sprint. It's Wednesday night at the 2K The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Knocks it loose. He's all alone on the court right now for the Pacers. Down low, Austin Hitler. George and Granger on the point, and it's Hill in at the point guard position. Pacers leading by three. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Here's Patterson. Another one falls for New Orleans. Very well done. He is a confident, dynamic scorer. West kicks to Hill. Here's Patterson. Another one falls for New Orleans. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for New Orleans. 
Boy, their hounding, harassing effort to the defensive end, very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And I'll tell you, the other thing that's going to factor is the transition game. They're scoring a lot of points on the fast break. Here's Hill. Lots of room. Another one falls for New Orleans. Uh, you got to like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. And here comes the break. Launches the three. Patterson, that's good. Patterson's got 40 points. Boy, his performance from long range has been incredible. I know that was your shot, Steve, and today it's his two. Hill kicks it to West. It's back to Hill. Davis with it. Now Gordon. He passes to Patterson. Puts up a three. And that one's good. And now a 12-point Pelican lead. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Well, that's three of the last five makes uh, having been behind the three-point line. So, got to make some adjustments defensively. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. I was able to listen in on what Frank Vogel had to say to his team. He told his players, turnovers are killing us right now. We can't keep trying to make the home run play. Settle down, run the offense, and make a simple pass. Kevin sounds easy enough. He has really punished these defenders today. No matter who's been on him, he's been given a medicine. one-handed slam. Impressive play there, and they have been really good offensively. Piling up the points en route to this big lead, guys. I mean, they've been unstoppable. For three, and again, New Orleans with the triple. Well, there's plenty to like about him as a player, but, you know, one thing that really stands out is the quick trigger. He can catch the ball in space, defenders all over him, but in an instant, he lets that shot go, and he is accurate. And I know something else the fans love about him is the way he's capable of going straight over the top of a defender for some monster throwdowns. I mean, we're talking about posterization with capital letters. Leaps for it. Out of his own on the break. Goes up. Trips down the breakaway slam. And tack on a few more points to the lead. Why not? I suppose this is an emphatic showing for this club. And Steve, they did it in style. A beat down the entire way. Another one falls for New Orleans. Starting to really play well here and trying to pull away. Yeah, and they're doing it effectively, Steve. I mean, they're on all cylinders right now, clicking beautifully. Jacks up a three, and another three for New Orleans. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. Uncovered, and it's New Orleans scoring again. Boy, they're extending their lead. It kind of feels like they're just piling on here as we come to an end. Well, hey, let's just call it what it is. They are trying to run it up on them. George with the ball. Now guarded by Patterson. And a fast break now for the Pelicans. Shows it down to finish the break. Terrific job taking care of business in front of the home fans. And, Steve, I thought those fans, those home fans, gave this team a big lift all game. A lot of positive energy in the building. Wide open look, and he drops that one in. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Good. He hits the jump shot. Well, he scored over half of their points so far. That's a major contribution. Each end of the floor. Hey, what more can you add? And that'll do it for.